Muddy shoes. Are those trail shoes? They're not just trail shoes, they're topos. Topos, yeah. So, yes, my wife has been running in these topos for a while. Check them out, they are muddy. I like the socks too, those are cool. Are those Swift Wicks? Yep. Yeah, Swift Wicks. Yep. Snake JT, protection. What are you doing? <laughs> Eat in a bar. Eat a bar. Piggy bar. All right, so the wife has been showing off her topos. They're, they're kind of ugly at first when you first get them, and then they get uglier. That blue color doesn't grow on you very well. But anyways, she's been doing this for a long time, and so, check it out. Daddy got him some topos, brand new. Check out what it's supposed to be. <laughs> supposed to be a roomy toe box, a low drop, lightweight. Yes, same exact color. And so we're gonna see what these topos are like. Been wanting to get into some little bit of trail running, getting away from the road. So we're gonna see what this is like. And eh? all right, check it out. Got them on my feet. Loving my USA socks. Mm -hmm. Ooh, they feel different right here first. Yes, they do. They feel good though. Very wide and toe box soft. They feel feel cushy like a. I'm used to the ASIC glide rides on the street. It looks pretty good, actually. I'm liking that blue. It's hugging my heels really well. I feel them in my arch, but it's soft. I feel like a pillow underneath my feet. So, check them out. Check out the bottoms. Bottoms look good. Yes, I'm excited. All right, so we're about to run. Like right now. Turn the hat around. All right, we're going to stop about every half mile and let you know how they feel. Should be fabulous. All right, here we go. The topos. Three, two, one. Half a mile in, these things feel great. The acid glide rides that I love for riding on the road, these feel a lot like them. I feel very stable. Like I'm not gonna twist my ankle on these things. These things are amazing. Yes, the topos are rock and rolling. I'm loving them so far. So let's just keep this journey going. All right. These shoes feel amazing. So that time, that half a mile, what I did, I tried a few jumps and leaps over some stuff out there. You saw me run on some concrete. The, the jumping, I felt like I was springing. I had like a little rabbit. I was boing, boing. So I felt comfortable jumping and it came down real soft, uh, running across the concrete. I couldn't tell there was any grip at all on the bottom. So these things are doing great. I am loving them. I can see myself running on concrete. I know it'd tear the shoe up, but wow, man, this trail is beautiful too. First time I've been on this trail, we're at Joe Wheeler um, Marina area in North Alabama. Anyways, this is beautiful. So we're gonna keep this journey going and see you in a minute. Gotta love them. Check out the shoes. Oh, they feel good. 
Real good. So I'm gonna walk a little bit as I'm talking about this half a mile. So I had some bridges on it, I had some sections that I wanted to see if they would slip or not. Bridges were a little bit wet. Got some kind of steep up and down hills, not too bad. Anyways, what I found is they like to stick to the wood that was a little bit wet. That's an unusual thing when it comes to shoes or bicycles, or whatever. You gotta be really careful. You get on some wet wood, boom, slip and fall. Got some great stories about that. And I got some not so great stories about that. Let's walk out here on this log, see what happens. Watch out for little, little snakey snakies. I don't see any. Anyway, so I did that. Um, now what I wanted to test out on the actual shoe when it was talking about going downhill, it, are, are my shoes, or excuse me, are my toes slamming into the front of the shoe? And, and they're not, and I, I didn't order anything bigger. These are uh, size 12, that's what I typically well, wear. And uh, my, I, that's what I usually hate about uh, trail shoes or any type of off-road shoes, is that my toes would slam into the front into something hard, and it did not. Let's take three seconds and take in this view. Yes, yeah, so. I'm looking, I'm loving these shoes so far. I'm gonna take this last half mile and just enjoy, I'm gonna run, kinda kinda just let it loose a little bit, see how much time, time kind of speed I can get. And then we'll be at two miles and I'll tell you what I think about these shoes. Am I gonna keep them or am I gonna put them back in the box? All right, here we go. So this trail I'm on is a birding sanctuary. So we are behind a wall that lets you, you know, look at some birds. I thought I'd love to stop and show you that. Let's keep this run going. All right, let's do this last little bit together so we can talk to each other. Toe pose have been great. Nothing displeasing about them at all. I tried to actually run and step on some roots with my midfoot, my heel, and uh, with my toes. Yeah, I felt it, but not really. It kind of just bounced right off of them. So these are some great little shoes. <clears throat> I can see those that are looking for some just good, just walking, hiking shoes. Oh yeah, Topo is the way to go. <laughs> just made that up. It's kind of fun. Topo, way to go, off-road. Boy, this is a beautiful trail. Check it out. It's brand new. They're not done with it at all.
Topos! That's mine. Daddy, guess what? Tell me. We caught a lots of fish. Yes, you caught lots of fish? Yes, you did. I'm, I'm excited. We have pictures. Ah, uh, the Topo is the way to go. Yes, it is. All right, I'll tell you more about it when we get back to the house. Thanks for watching. All right, here we go. Here's Sardi. Yeah, it's gonna be Sardi. And let's give you my thoughts on the topo. So here they are in the box. And that box is beautiful. Check that out. Beautiful box. They got the coolest thing. I love that box. Again, they advertise roomy toe box, low drop, lightweight. I must say, yes, they did have a very roomy toe box. Plenty of room for the toes to spread and splay. A secure fit through the heel and midfoot allows the shoe to move with your body. Now, they did have a very secure um, fit on the heel, the midfoot. It was, it was secure also. I'm kind of worried maybe it's a little too secure in the midfoot. For me, I've got a little bump on the outside of my feet. But I'm going to loosen up the laces, see how that goes. Um, but anyway, so yeah, it's very snug. If you have a normal foot on the outside and all the way around, it's going to be, you know, nice all the way through here. And then it opens up. I mean, it really opens up. My toes are wiggling all over the place. Yes. So low drop. Topo cushion missiles are engineered with a zero to five millimeter heel to toe drop, encouraging natural loading and foot motion during the gait cycle. Now, I'm used to the A6 Glide Ride. The toe is much lower than the heel in that, and I want you to know I tried. I tried digging the heels in. I tried running on the toes. I tried running flat-footed. All the different ways that you could do it, and it's just comfortable everywhere. Lots of cushioning in the shoe, which made that. I mean, I feel like I could go slow and easy for a long time, or I could pick up the pace and go a little bit quicker if I like to. Lastly, lightweight. Their ultra light material is and inseam reducing construction techniques keep weight down and blisters at bay. Yes, they do. So check it out one more last time here. At the bottom, really good traction. I'm talking, I, I tried to almost slip. I tried to get on some roots and some rocks and tried to slip. They're not gonna slip. I guess it's gonna have to be really watery to, just, uh, to slip on. Notice good cushioning, really good cushioning for a off-road shoe. Look on the inside, got the Topo brand and then a little vent on the inside. It felt like a really cool shoe. I'm not gonna get real too hot inside of them. And uh, yeah, the tongue stayed right where it's supposed to be. All right, so liking the shoes. Man, these things are light, look at that. Boom, light as can be. Pull out the other one. They gotta do something about that color though. That is an ugly shoe. Man, that's ugly. That's an ugly shoe, ugly color. Maybe they get some black or some red. Maybe even bright yellow would look good, but this is, uh. I want you to know, I think you'll like this shoe. Yeah, on the back, it tells me exactly five millimeter drop on this shoe. Five, five millimeter drop on this shoe. And the name of this shoe exactly, the Topo M Ultra Adventurer. Ultra Adventurer. That's right. The M Ultra Adventurer. Yes. I think you'll like this shoe. Get out there and try it. Give Topo a try. Yeah, it could be really good. I think you'll enjoy it. And yes. Thank you for watching. Again, if you like some of this stuff, I do all types of things. Like, subscribe, suggest something new. It could be fun for you and it is definitely fun for me like subscribe and definitely comment and i will get back to you as quick as i can thank you i'm out bye bye